bought the Arduino Nano from Banggood. Um, this is the one without the pin soldered on. Uh, apparently it's a version 3, £1.78. Uh, this is the matrix, LED matrix. Um, although it shows it with jumpers on the back. Mine didn't come with jumpers at all. Um, they were just soldered together in one piece. Uh, and these were £3.10. So this is the final project. Um, I soldered two of the modules together across the middle. Um, use the jumper cables, connect it to the Arduino and uh, powering it off this power bank. And there you can see the display. Links, pilots, do it in the hover. And we certainly did do that. So just trying to focus in on this. This is the there's four eight by eight LED matrix modules um, in one in one unit if you like. Let's get it out of the anti-static bag and we'll have a little look at it. I don't know if the um, part number on the bag actually meant anything. Uh, it probably does to the people in China. So there you can see four units, they're all soldered together. The, the picture on um, eBay on the uh, Banggood showed it as being um, jumpers connecting them, but it's not. And then you've got the, uh, the sort of pinouts, and if we can focus in on that, so you've got VCC, ground, data in, CS, and the clock pin. So I square C just makes it dead easy to uh, to connect to to an Arduino. Got a, a right angled set of header pins. You can see those. So yeah, right angle header pins. Um, you, I suppose you could solder them into uh, into the other end of the the board and uh, daisy chain several of these together. Don't know what the maximum number would be. Uh, and there you've got the female to female jump leads. Um, which came with came with it. Um, I've also got a Arduino Nano. So got the two sets of header pins, I put them in a, um, a breadboard um, that makes sure that it's in line for when I solder it. So that's how I do that, <coughs> which I think is pretty much like everybody does. So I put this diagram together from Fritzing, which is quite good, just to show the, uh, the pins and where the various cables go. So the my yellow pin goes to that's ground. Uh, the green pin that you've got there goes from VCC to five volts. You've then got. Uh, the orange pin that I've got going to uh, digital pin 10, the red one going to digital pin 11, and then that sort of greyish coloured one going to uh, digital pin 13. So, not too difficult.
Okay, now we've got the Arduino code. So I've uh, downloaded the Parola MD Max 72XX libraries and the SPI library. Uh, just making sure that they're that they're downloaded and uh, here you've got max devices at eight and uh, just defining the clock pin as 13 data is 11 and CS pin as 10 and to get this to work the right way around I've changed the uh, the hardware type to IC station underscore HM. Um, this is for the Banggood one, it worked for me, so yours may be different. Uh, so the next thing to look at is the scroll speed here. This is set at 45 and you can see bottom left corner how, uh, how that goes, the sort of speed that is. We'll play with that in a second. And the uh, buffer size, I've changed that to 150 because um, that determines the size of the message that you can you can put on it. Uh, scrolling down, it was very very bright for me, so I uh, I decided to um, to add this line to the code. This is from the examples uh, to set the intensity to 1 to 15 um, the numbers you can use I what it's uh, what it's on the screen as is one in the minute at the minute so that seemed to that seems to be how I like it um, and this is where you set the message so I'll just type in a, a new message links pilots do it in the hover because I used to be a Lynx pilot many years ago now um, I'm having to use the 80 mega old bootloader uh, because this is an Arduino Nano and I got it from Banggood and that seems to be the bootloader that works for it and it's on in my case Comport 6 which is fine your Comport may be different so we'll just upload that and we'll do some fast forwarding whilst it uh, compiles the uh, the sketch and uploads it to the Nano should I take a second or two in fast forward there you go it's done uploading And there you have it, Link Spire, let's do it in the hover. Exclaim, 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 exclaim. So let's have a look at changing a couple of the settings that we've mentioned. So if we change the intensity, make it brighter. So this is 15, this is the highest. Uh, we'll do the fast forward upload. Uh, that things to have done and you can see there is it is much brighter it's quite painful to look at to be honest at 15 so I like it on one it suits me for what I'm, what I'm doing at the moment um, and if we look at the uh, the scroll speed let's make that really fast and you can see the difference that uh, that, that makes. So setting it 10, um, that's the frame delay value. So, okay, so that's done uploading. So this is real time, and that's how fast it moves at no, number 10. So it's way too quick. So uh, I think I'll set that back to. I think I'll set it to 40. There you go, fast, fast forward and compiling and uploading stage. Uh, and that's done and that's real time again, so. Very nice. <laughs>